This weekend we decided to take a drive to the old Ohio State Reformatory in Mansfield, Ohio. As you can see here, we're pulling into the um, reformatory. It does not look like a prison from the outside. It looks more like a castle. This is uh, said to be one of the most haunted places in Ohio and one of the most haunted prisons. One of the first things we see as we go in to the tour is the museum. The first thing at the museum is the electric chair, um, referred to as Old Sparky. I believe this electric chair actually was from Columbus and not from this reformatory. But uh, still, it's an interesting thing to see. The administrative part of the building was uh, the uh, home of the warden and his family, as well as all the office uh, space and other places around the prison. Um, one haunted area is in the uh, warden's family uh, area, which the wife had uh, uh, gotten shot and passed away. Uh, we didn't really look for this area here, but next time we go, we sure will. This area is the area where the family lived at one point. Uh, some of the other pieces of the museum are information about the movie Shawshank Redemption, which was filmed here, and a few other movies that had been filmed here. The first area we go into after the administrative part of the building is the chapel, which obviously doesn't look as good as it used to, uh, but it's a fairly large chapel, and uh, this is the end of where you'll see wooden doors in the building because after the administrative building, once you get into the actual prison area, it becomes all steel doors and cages. <laughs> Here we are going into the east cell block. Uh, the east cell block is actually the newer part of the prison. Um, nothing's new here. This is, was uh, finished in 1910, and uh, the rest of the prison was um, earlier than that, 1896, I believe. The top level where we're at right now, um, they don't allow access to these cells, so we do have to go down a few levels uh, where we can walk across and see the cells. This is uh, the tallest, uh, what I believe I read was this is the tallest freestanding um, cell block. That there one's is. got everything, a bed, a sink, toilet, everything in that one. They do have a few um, cells set up that you can walk into. Uh, everything's still in them. So, uh, a couple of them actually looked fairly uh, fresh, like they keep them nice but the rest of them are all very run down. Uh, I understand there is a plan to uh, renovate a lot of this and make it look better, but you, know, you never know when that's gonna happen and it's all based on them getting money from people paying for tours and such. At the end of the cell block is the infirmary, which we just went into, but I actually didn't take any video there. And a uh, pretty empty space, but that's where anybody who was injured went. And then come down and we actually get down to the first floor of the cells, which is a little overwhelming because it is pretty tall in there. Somewhere around there is a cell where a person, uh, an inmate had lit themselves on fire. Now we move down into here and this is actually solitary confinement. Uh, I read that this area was built for 20 prisoners, but at one point they actually had 100 of them in here. Uh, this is one of the more haunted areas of the prison, but we didn't see any ghosts or have any um, type of um, interesting things like that happen with us. You can see the cells in solitary confinement are much smaller and it's a very dark area 
it's a little more um, intimidating. Now here we go into the west cell block, which is very different than the east. This is the built earlier area. Uh, this the, the ground floor is a lot more uh, like brick and concrete block. Here we're in the guards area, which is between the two cell blocks where the guards will be able to keep an eye on both areas from the middle. And uh, this is area that actually has been renovated and looks pretty nice. One of the last things we see on the tour is the warden's dining room, which is here.